about CT coronary angiogram as a non-invasive test or rather a screening test for heart disease most often in the news or in the social media. Now we'll check what this CT coronary angiogram is and also have a comparison with conventional coronary angiography. When should you have CT coronary angiogram and when conventional coronary angiogram has to be done. This is a conventional coronary angiogram. You can see that the, the contrast media or dye is injected directly into the coronary artery. Coronary artery is the blood vessel supplying oxygenated blood to the heart. And you can uh, see the image of the branches of the coronary blood vessel. This is the left coronary artery. And you can see in this case the coronary catheter has gone from the lower side and gone up into the aorta, the greatest blood vessel of the heart and entered the coronary artery. There are two ways of approaching coronary angiography usually. One is from the wrist. You can put a small tube into the wrist blood vessel or earlier it was done as in this case from the lower limb that is a groin, a small puncture is made in the groin and the tube is introduced through the blood vessel of the abdomen into the aorta above and uh, this is conventional old time coronary angiography through the femoral root or through the groin. So here you have to go directly into the blood vessel of the heart and take continuous x-ray imaging. This is done in a procedure suit known as cardiac catheterization laboratory. Mild sedation may be given but usually the person is fully conscious and the procedure is done under local anesthesia. This is of course needed prior to any procedure like angioplasty. When you want an angioplasty, you have to undergo usual conventional coronary angiography prior to that to find the blood vessels pattern as well as how many blocks are there. And uh, this you are getting a movie here. That is continuous recording of the movement of the coronary arteries as well as how the dye or contrast medium moves through the blood vessel. This is conventional coronary angiography. Now we will see what a CT coronary angiogram is. CT coronary angiogram is an outpatient procedure done in the CT console. You can see the CT scanner here. Only difference from a usual CT scanner is that it will be more advanced of a faster speed and it will have facility for easy gating. That means the pictures can, get, can be acquired timed with the ECG so that uh, it is possible to correlate with the timing of the heart cycle that is when the heart is contracting and when, when the heart is relaxing. This is one such picture which has been obtained but this is not a usual CT picture. It is a three dimensional reconstruction of the CT coronary angiogram. You can see the coronary branches very well but this is not a movie, it is a still image. You can see the aorta, the largest blood vessel then you can see the left main coronary artery, the most important coronary artery branch which supplies a major portion of the heart. One branch is known as LAD, left anterior descending coronary artery. Another branch is known as left circumflex. And this is a branch of the LAD. This is another branch of the LAD. All these are seen as three dimensional reconstructions. Actually when you see in the computer console you can rotate it and see all the aspects like a 3D image but it is not a movie. We have just seen a three dimensional reconstruction of the coronary arteries but that is not how the images appear when they are first acquired from the CT scanner. This is how the images that is they are slices in cross sections they are seen. This is a slice where you can see the iota here contrast filled that is why it is white filled with iodinated contrast and one branch is seen. This is the left circumflex which we have seen. This is a two dimensional image and multiple such two dimensional images in various planes are taken by the CT scanner and the computer resynthesizes into three dimensional images. That is CT reconstruction into three dimensional images. This is another image showing 3D reconstruction. This is the image which you have already seen but this is from the other side. You can see the right coronary artery. 
here you have the left coronary artery this is right coronary artery so you can see almost the full extent of the right coronary artery but uh, it is not a movie once again so when do you know, uh, know which is to be done in persons who have a suspicion of coronary artery disease like a person coming to the chest pain with chest pain to the emergency department but uh, ecg does not show definite evidence of a heart attack then you will go for a ct coronary angiogram being a less invasive test but if there is evidence of a heart attack on the ecg itself then you will not go for ct coronary angiogram you will straight away go for invasive coronary angiogram that is the conventional coronary angiogram during which angioplasty procedure can also be done and as a screening test sometimes when there is a possibility of coronary artery disease in an outpatient also you might do ct coronary angiogram mostly as a screening test because information obtained in ct coronary angiogram is not enough to decide uh, by a definite method to decide on whether coronary angioplasty is needed or a bypass surgery is needed for such major decisions you will have to go for conventional coronary angiogram so that is the role of ct coronary angiogram mostly as a screening test but you should not be doing it for asymptomatic persons just to know whether they are blocks because if there are minor blocks detected on ct like this then it will create a lot of anxiety so only whenever there is a strong possibility that is they may have coronary artery disease then only it will be done and if there is direct evidence in ecg or the symptom is typical of coronary artery disease you go for the conventional coronary angiogram